Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how $100,000 per month Shopify stores find winning products in 2020. Now, one of the biggest issues a lot of people, especially beginners have when it comes to drop shipping with Shopify is actually finding those winning products. There's so many tutorials out there talking about different ways, different websites, etc. And I personally believe that all that those websites do is just cause more confusion for these people. And in fact, it doesn't really even matter whether you're beginner or an intermediate or even an expert product research is one of the hardest things which you can do for Shopify because I mean if it was really that easy everybody doing Shopify would be millionaires by now and there are specific few things which a lot of people get wrong when it comes to product research which is the main reason as to why people struggle to even find any winning products and it doesn't really matter what advertising platform you use in the end if the product is a real winning product it will work period so in this video I want to kind of go over a specific new methods which I found personally that a lot of Shopify stores specifically doing over six figures per month use to find winning products consistently. So it's not like a one hit wonder where they do six figures in one month and the next 10 months it's zero dollars. But without wasting any more time, let's find out exactly what the strategy is. So the first thing you'll actually have to do before finding any type of results with what I'm about to talk about is just destroy that like button down below. It'll take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully you have done that. But before actually talking about the specific strategy, I want to go ahead and talk about exactly what you define as a winning product. And this is not going to be some section where I talk about the fact that the product should have good features, benefits, etc. because so many people talk about it already. In this section, I'm going to actually be defining exactly how you can identify whether you even have a winning product because in the end, yes, it does matter whether the product is a beneficial product or it's a helpful product, etc. But a lot of people don't even realize that they have winning products on their hands and they end up cutting off ad sets or campaigns on Google ads for that given product. So exactly what is a winning product in my own opinion a winning product is a product which consistently gets you sales on a day-to-day -day basis with of course some slight fluctuation now what a better way to show exactly what a winning product is than to show you guys one image directly from my Google Ads account for one of my main winning products, which I was running during April and March of 2020. So if you look at the specific graph for this product, and it was a high ticket product, meaning I was selling it for around $400 to $500, there were two different variations. But if you look at the specific chart right here, you can see that for this winning product, there was a time period in the beginning where it wasn't really that successful because it was only getting one or two sales a day. But then after my Google Ads campaign for that given product, did stabilize you can kind of see that how it jumped upward so i was getting around four sales five sales even sometimes more and the thing about the google ads image here is that not all the conversions were tracked so on some days there were a lot more conversion and if you count even getting five conversions on a 500 dollars product that's two thousand five hundred dollars on just a single product and this is a general store with multiple different products but as you can see with the winning product it's not a straight line or a parabolic curve upwards because it's very very erratic you can't really determine the chart and the curve beforehand. So as you can see, on some days I was getting good sales, but then the next day it would drop significantly for the two days following that. And then on the third day after that, it would go back up to a very, very higher number more than before. Then it would drop back down to its lows and then it would go back up. So as you can see, this is how a winning product functions. A lot of people have this wrong mentality about winning products that when you find a winning product, it's always all the way up. And that could not be further away from the truth. As you guys see here, there's a lot of ups and downs it's kind of like a person's heartbeat but this is exactly what you can define as a winning product because number one it's getting me sales consistently even though there are a lot of drops but number two which i'll be covering over very very soon is that though it's actually profitable and that brings me to my next point which is profits because a lot of people even though they have a winning product on their hands don't really know whether it's a real winner or not because they're either breaking even or actually losing money so what exactly is a winning product in this case well in my opinion again a winning product is something that is profitable and getting you good profits. I was getting around $100 to $150 of profits per sale on this product and I was only spending around $50 to $100 a day on ads. So this was clearly a profitable product for me and that would make it a winner. If this product was not profitable for me but it was still selling, that's called a fake winning product because it's not really a winner. It's not getting any money for you to put inside your pocket. So that's clearly not a winning product and something you want to stop running ads for if you do find yourself in that situation. But that's basically how you define a winning product. I'm not really going to again go over into the specifics as to what you should be looking out for. I've made tons of videos on that. This is kind of a general idea of what classifies a winning product when you personally know you have a winning product. But now that we've kind of covered that, let's go over 
for the specific strategies because there are a few. Now I'm going to be going over a few websites in this case, and I'm also going to be showing you how to use these websites. So the first website is of course AliExpress, but you're not just going on AliExpress to search for a product. You're going under the super value deal section. So what do I mean by this exactly? Well, when you go on AliExpress.com on a normal window, you'll see several sections on the top. And previously I used to recommend that you go on an incognito tab and then look at the flash deal section. The super value deals is kind of a different section compared to the flash deals, because if we go ahead and click on that, we can see several different sections within this section. The first one is weekly deals where AliExpress just shows you some products which are kind of on sale at the moment. And this list does get updated regularly. But in addition, they have a bestseller section right below that. If you keep on scrolling down, you'll see that there's a section called specially for you. This is basically designed for your AliExpress account based on the browsing history which your AliExpress account has. But in addition to that, if you scroll down, you'll see that it says more to love. Normally, I like to go under the more to love section because there's some very, very interesting products within the section. And if you keep on scrolling down, you'll see more and more products related to that. So the main strategy behind finding these winning products is actually finding those winning products, which are actually brand new. Normally, I used to recommend that you look at the specific amount of orders a product has. And if it has too many orders, it could be saturated, etc. But in 2020, the big stores, meaning those stores doing six figures and beyond per month are actually adding those products with very little even no orders at all. And that's the beauty about the strategy. You're basically finding six figure products, which nobody has really laid their hands on yet. That means you have a big market space available for the product. For example, this product right here, only 192 orders and it's sold by a chop brand. So if this product, let's say was not really that saturated after we did more research, we found out that this is a brand new product. This would be a more than good product to try on Facebook ads or Google ads or Pinterest, wherever you want to try simply because it's brand new. And that's basically what you should be doing in 2020. Forget finding those products with too many orders to them because that's literally not going to work for you anymore. All you'll end up doing is finding one winning product after the next and basically just chasing after these products, which will end up dying out within a few days, possibly a few weeks because they've already been sold so much. So that's one strategy to find these new products. Just go to the super value deal section, scroll all the way down and keep on scrolling through until you find those products, which you kind of find interesting. In fact, this specific product right here, the bike repair stand is one winning product, which I mentioned in my last video for Google Ads specifically. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check that out. You can click the link in the top right section. But in addition to that, you want to just be scrolling through looking for those products which you kind of see are cool than looking at the orders and doing the basic steps that you would normally take. But that's one specific way to do proper product research like these big stores do. But let's move on to our next step. And that is using the Amazon gift ideas. Now, another new strategy, which I just started using in 2020 personally, and you want to basically search on Google Amazon gift ideas. Once you search that up, it'll be like the second or third link. And when you click on that, you'll end up on this page right here. As you can see, we're under Amazon's gift ideas. If you read what it says, it says our most popular products ordered as gifts updated daily. So that's another way to find new winning products because these products, people are buying them as gifts. You may be thinking that if these are gift related products then this list would do much better in Christmas time or Thanksgiving when people actually want to give gifts. And that's actually not true at all because if you go between these specific collection pages, you'll see a lot of specific products which people can use right at this moment, regardless of the season, event, occasion, etc. So this specific way again is a perfect way to get ideas for new products, which you can then go on AliExpress to try to source the product. Because again, the main reason why we're trying to even look on Amazon's gift ideas section is so that we can find new products and then we can source them from AliExpress. But another thing you want to do when you're looking at these products is you want to look at the amount of reviews these products have. The more reviews it has, the more saturated the product is. So I would definitely skip a product with 12,000 reviews. But on the other hand, if a product only has 481 reviews, that's still fairly new. I would maybe consider looking into selling this product if it matches our other criteria. And this criteria, again, would depend on whether you use Facebook, Google, Pinterest, etc. So simply again, scroll through, look for those specific gifts people are giving to each other with low amount of reviews, because that's the best way to find those unsaturated products, which you can then sell for a good profit. But this is another way that big stores do product research in 2020 and onward. Let's move on to our third way, and that is by typing a specific specific niche on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, 
and sorting by new product. So in order to kind of show you guys this specific strategy, I'm going to go ahead and go on over to AliExpress and show you guys exactly what I mean. So for this specific strategy, you don't really have to choose a given product. You can simply type in whatever you want in the AliExpress search section. So you can type in hiking, biking, swimming, etc. And once you go on a specific collection page, then you want to do the next steps, which I'll show you just right now. So for this example, I'm just going to go over to the outdoor fun and sports section. From this section, here's what you want to do. So you want to click on this newest button right here because that simply lets you know which products are the newest and then basically lay it out so that you can see a lot more products in a given section of the page. So now we can see all of the newest products within this specific niche and all you have to do is just scroll through and look at the specific products which are related to any occasion, event, time going on at this moment right now. So when I'm recording this video, it's currently June and that also means that a lot of people in the United States are having problems with mosquitoes insects etc so that makes this suit hooded mosquito repellent suit a perfect product to be trying out especially on google ads but it, this would really work well with facebook as well and plus the best part about this is that there's no reviews or no orders for this product which means that it is a brand new product and maybe it is completely unsaturated so if you decide to use facebook or pinterest or one of those platforms which requires like a video or image ad maybe you just want to do a simple image and then showcase this specific product but it would work really really well for google as well because one solution a lot of people search for is for problems related to mosquitoes so this specific mosquito repellent suit is the perfect solution to that and of course this does not mean that every single product you try will be a winning product that'll get you seven figures and beyond but it does increase your chances of finding a winning product that's also sustainable long term because again remember that if you're trying to sell a product which are, is already saturated it's very very hard to continue that success for days weeks months but if you find something new it's much much easier compared to the first scenario so that's why I'm recommending that you find products this way and look at only the new products. But another again way is by simply typing in a specific niche. It doesn't really matter what website you do it on as long as you're looking at the new products. But let's move on to our fourth way and that is by going to the Watch Count 2.0 website. Now I already went over this specific website in one of my previous videos but it's basically watchcount.com. This website shows you best sellers on eBay and you have a lot of different options that you can look at when it comes to watchcount.com. Basically you can look at the most bids option you can look at the listings which have the most amount of watchers etc but here's the difference between this website now instead of just going through the specific collection pages right when you land on this website you want to go ahead and go down to the search section and below that click most watch 2.0 this is basically a newer version of watch count which lets you see more products and is a little bit more smarter than before so again the strategy is, does remain the same you just go through each specific collection page you can type in a given keyword if you want and from there you can simply look at the products which are getting sold the most as of right now watchcoin 2.0 is actually showing me the product with the most amount of watchers as you can see we're currently sorting by most watch that means people are watching these products on ebay the most so the biggest strategy that the stores doing six figures per month are doing right now is simply scrolling through these products looking at something that a lot of people are actually watching and then trying to source a different kind of version for that product so in case you're thinking i'm kind of going against what i just mentioned about looking at newer products hear me out you want to basically be looking at a given product here for example let's say you want to sell this braided fishing line you don't really want to sell the same exact braided fishing line on your store instead of what you would do is you would go on to aliexpress type in the main keyword braided fishing line and then look for new variations which don't really have that many orders on aliexpress for a braided fishing line and then go from there with your research this strategy will help ensure that you're selling a product which is actually popular right now but in addition a kind of newer version of that product so you're not just showing people what they've already seen a thousand times before and again this leads to more sustainable winning products but that's another way basically watch count 2.0 now let's move on to our final way of doing product research in 2020 and this is exactly what those big stores do and that is going on 1688.com and typing in this Chinese text now what does this Chinese text mean exactly well this Chinese text actually means new product and I'll leave this in the description below so for those of you who are, don't really speak Chinese can go ahead and copy and paste this on 1688.com but 1688.com is actually a specific Chinese website which contains all of the specific products it's kind of like AliExpress for China specifically and you can buy in bulk as well but the main thing again that we're doing here is we're trying to find those winning products from 1688.com which we can then go and source on AliExpress so if you go on 1688.com 
and simply search in the specific text which I have laid out for you guys. So go ahead and just type it in and press enter. You'll be taken to a new page which basically shows you all of the new products on 1688.com and there's a bunch of different products you can choose from. The beauty about this is that these products will most likely be available on AliExpress as well because your AliExpress supplier, believe it or not, may be sourcing from this given supplier on 1688.com. So the best way to find these winning products directly from your AliExpress supplier supplier is by going on 16.8.com. Again, you'll find a lot of products which you really can't sell, but once in a while, you will definitely come across a given product which is actually very, very interesting. As you can see, this egg hatching machine is, looks very, very interesting. If you go in and do research on this product, you will be able to see whether this is a product that's worth selling on Facebook or Google or any other platform based on other criteria such as competition, pricing, etc. But again, we just want to use this website to get a general idea of how the products are, whether they're worth selling or not. But this is kind of the new way of doing product research in 2020 and onwards. And this is exactly what big stores doing six figures and beyond do when it comes to finding this product. If you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.